I just watched uh, three TV shows yesterday concerning um, the underclass in modern Scotland, in particular the city of Glasgow, or parts of the city of Glasgow. And it was fascinating to see the culture of gang violence that is in, in sort of endemic in um, certain parts of Scotland or whatever, uh, parts of Scottish cities, I guess. Um, not that it's interesting in and of itself, it's all rather tragic, actually. Even the people that you sort of didn't really have much sympathy for in terms of, well, you know, they're getting what they deserve type thing, you know. Um, people who play with matches get burned. Um, but you still sort of, I don't know, I still couldn't help myself sort of feeling sorry for even the people who were probably perpetrators and victims of the whole thing. People that get their faces slashed or killed or stabbed or whatever. Um, even if they do do all these horrible things, I just generally say, would I really like to be one of these people, though? Like, even if even if they are doing all these bad things, um, you know, it, it, is it are they really benefiting from it? No, they're not. They're creating a hell of their own um, that they have to live in. Uh, a Ned, I guess, is what they're called, the young hoods in Scotland, um, is essentially his own worst enemy. He's, he inflicts himself on the larger society, but he also inflicts himself on himself. Um, here in Canada, we have almost a, what, what I would call almost the cult of the Scotsman. The, the belief that if you want a job done correctly with no nonsense, no fooling around, get a Scotsman to do it. We've also got this strange idea that Scots, which actually may not be that strange, but we have this, you know, an idea that Scots, in spite of a gruff exterior, are actually a lot warmer than they let on. <clears throat> and this comes out in the TV shows as well. Um, Ned culture comes as a bit of a shock, I think, to a lot of Canadians when they first come across it, thinking, that's not how I thought of Scots. I thought of Scots as very proficient soldiers, good business people, nice enough, um, honest to a fault, that kind of thing. Uh, whereas here's these very unsavory people um, who seem to be part and parcel of the Scottish scene. Um, well, I guess, you know, the cult of the Scotsman is like any other cult, I guess. It's um, just a stereotype, even if it's a positive one. Um, what interested me the most, though, was this nearly Canadian angle to it. They straight people or the underclass, the real underclass, the urban underclass in Glasgow, uh, and I'm sure in other Scottish cities, and, you know, they have the equivalent in England, I guess, chavs, and I think both Ned's and Ned and Chav are pejoratives to the point of being near racist. Uh, but anyway, I'm just using them sort of clinically here. Um, what fascinates me is how these people resemble the very same underclass in almost every way that I can think of, except one <laughs> uh, that we have here in Canada. In Scotland, my understanding is that they're mostly ethnic Scots. I guess they may be sort of overrepresented in the Catholic community, maybe, um, simply because, I don't know, I guess Catholic uh, Scots tend to you know, be overrepresented in the lower classes? I don't know. I'm just guessing here. Uh, here in Canada, the underclass is overrepresented by another demographic. Um, it's sort of Canada's national shame, tragedy, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's the position of the Aboriginal Canadians, and their position is not enviable. Um, they seem to resemble, though, the underclass that I saw in these shows yesterday in Scotland so closely as to jar one uh, coming across this kind of thing for the first time. Um, very little gun violence, plenty of knife violence. Um, however much a young hood in both sort of situations might create a mess of himself in his own life and for all of those around him, inevitably invariably the mess catches up to him um, and it's um, in Canada at least I guess we could sort of 
have some sort of massive historical injustice to blame on that, or blame that on. Um, in Scotland, I don't know. Maybe it's just in any culture, you need, an underclass will appear. People who simply go whole hog on just enjoying and slash exploiting everything that they see without any reflection. In other words, violence is fun, let's commit some violence and not think about the consequences. Oh, I feel like getting wasted, let's get wasted and not worry about tomorrow. Um, I think I'll steal or I'll do whatever. Um, again, it's hard to talk about the underclass because whenever you do this, especially here in Canada, you've, you, you're dealing with a racial issue, a historical issue, um, many other things, and you're going to get denounced. I fully expect to get denounced for this video, by the way. Um, that's okay. I, you know, I'm talking out of turn here, in a, in a manner of speaking. I'm talking about somebody else's country, and I'm talking about somebody who has, you know, here in Canada, who has pretty good reasons for being what they are. Um, but it does make one think: Is this, is the urban underclass almost inevitable? Um, I've been to Scotland, and I noticed that most Scots actually, <laughs> the ones that I ran into, kind of fit the stereotype of industrious, intelligent, hard-working, low-key, rather overly modest people. Um, but uh, to look at what the Scots themselves uh, talk about when they're talking about their own country, they're talking about buckfast wine and uh, neds and things like that. Um, it's not everything, of course, but you know it is an issue that makes people think. It's like here in Canada. Um, we're not defined by the horrific situation of Aboriginal Canadians, but it's an everyday thing that is in one's face all the time here. Um, I don't know. I don't really have any conclusions, um, but I understand that um, many countries have a uh, similar demographic. There's the, uh, what are they called? Gopniks in Russia, who are the same idea. Um, even in Malaysia, I think, in China or whatever, they ha they have the equivalent, um, just street hood life. Um, is this inevitable? Um, when I lived in England, a lot of people, I lived in Newcastle upon Tyne, which kind of is a bit of a rough city itself, a lot of people were sort of on about how things were getting worse, etc., whereas the the phenomenon of the urban hood in Scotland uh, seems to be an old one. Seems to have been going on for at least a you know, hundred years, perhaps longer, much longer. Um, same thing as the, I don't know, rough Aboriginal Canadian um, who does not represent his community but is a visible presence in Canadian cities. It just seems to be so widespread as to be unignorable. Um, and I think, in a sense, um, the lot of the Ned class in Scotland might be worse because, well, at least here in Canada, most people, when they see um, an Aboriginal sort of going off the rails, they sort of say, yeah, well, I, I don't approve of what he's done, but look at his life, hey, look at his upbringing, look at, look at what life has done to him before he gets to the age of 15. What do you expect? Um, we can say, look, he's an Aboriginal Canadian. He kind of, I won't say he has an excuse, but there's a reason f for him being the way he is. However much people might complain about the phenomenon, I have yet to meet any actual raw hatred towards Aboriginals. Um, are Neds hated in Scotland by the general Scottish public? Are Scottish street people seen that way? Scottish gang culture? Are they simply hated? Um, I don't know. It, 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 it didn't come across like that, but because of the fact that they're of the same demographic as everyone else, you can almost say, look, you have no excuse for being what you are. Um, that's kind of a cop-out because everybody is a product of their nature and nurture. All of us. We're all a product of our circumstances. Um, but it's an interesting phenomenon. Um, this sort of 
dual nature of our society. There's the you know respectable, uh, mainstream kind of class. Then there's the underclass that simply doggedly refuses to go away. I don't really have a solution to any of this. It's just I thought I would comment on it. Um, it's fascinating to see um, this phenomenon replicate itself in two completely separate contexts.